Integrating Live Chat with Help Desk is easier than you think. After this video, you'll know how to integrate Live Chat with Help Desk, how to import data from Live Chat to Help Desk, how to create your ticket form in Live Chat, and a lot more. Right, let's dive in. So, the first thing we have to do is log into our Live Chat account. Now, once we're here, we want to go navigate to the sidebar where we will find Help Desk. Then we want to click on Add Help Desk Ticketing System. All right, so here we have a few steps in the onboarding process. Let's go and close this pop up. And we have Manage All Emails from Customers at Help Desk. Let's click on Continue. Support customers even when you're away. Create manageable tickets directly from chats. And here I want you to stop. Um, because this step will be irreversible if you import the agents and groups, canned responses and tags now, you won't be able to get rid of them later. So here I want you to take a second and think about the data that you do want to import. So I'm going to choose canned responses and tags and I'm going to go ahead and uncheck agents and groups. I'll show you how to do it later on the help desk app. Um, okay, and let's click on import data. So what happened was that your help desk account was automatically created based on your live chat credentials. So here we have a basic view of help desk um, in live chat. And as we can see here, we have a list of things to set up. Now this can be your guide, right? Now what happened is that a help desk account was automatically created for you based on your live chat credentials. Um, okay, so here we have a few things we can definitely take a look at. You can go back to this later. Um, if we close this window, we're going to find ourselves, like I said, in the basic view of help desk. On the sidebar here, we have all recent tickets, tickets to handle, and my open tickets. So this place is definitely, definitely your to go to. So if you do want all the features of help desk, we can either go down here to manage your help desk and we'll have agents, reports, settings, automations, marketplace, and manage your subscription as well. Or here at the top, you can go into our text products and simply switch the product to help desk. Now I'm gonna do so from the basic view. So I'm gonna go from manage your help desk and I'm gonna go into settings. So let's say that I want to finish importing my data, agents and groups. Remember that I didn't do that earlier. So let me show you how to update that now. Here on the sidebar in channels, under channels, we have live chat. And we can see that agents and groups unimported, right? So we didn't import them earlier. Now let's go ahead and click on import. It might take a bit long to import um, your data from live chat if you do have, you know, various many agents or many groups and so on. All right, Kaya, but what happens when I have an agent or new group in live chat? Well, then you'll get a notification here in help desk about exactly that. And all you have to do is click on import once again, and that's it. You will find your agent or new group in the help desk team section. If you didn't know, there's actually quite a lot you can do with your live chat's welcome screen that greets your customers. Now you can add various communication channels to your welcome screen and let your customers choose the communication channel that suits them best. For example, if you're offline and there's no agent available, you can have a help desk ticket form available to your customers. Now, the help desk ticket form can be opened and filled out directly in the chat widget, making it very convenient for your customers. Let me show you how to set it up. So we want to make sure that we are in our live chat product app. Then we want to go into settings here. We want to find website widget and welcome screen. Here we want to go to manage content scroll down and what we want to do is activate help desk and click customize so in the pop-up here we can see that we have title 
we have a short description, we have button text, and we also have the option of more customization in Help Desk. So I'm gonna actually go with the basic version and simply click on Done, and then Save Changes here. Now what I wanna do is show you how it looks for the customer. So this is how it will look for the customer and the customer will click on leave a message, fill out their name. So I'm just gonna do it quickly. Click on next. And then we have subject. So I'm gonna go with, I don't know, test uh, live chat times help desk and be like, hi. Of course your customer will fill this out appropriately, but for the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna do it quickly. And then they'll click send. Right, now let's go back to help desk. And here, what we wanna do is go into tickets. And yes, indeed, we can see that we have a ticket here. Email forwarding in help desk. You can also forward emails from your current email address to help desk. For example, like forwarding your Gmail emails to help us to have everything in one place. Now we have a bunch of articles for you depending on your email provider. So like I said, Gmail, Google Workspace, Microsoft 365, Microsoft Outlook, and Yahoo Mail. If you wanna forward the email directly from your server or use a different email provider, don't worry. We've also got you covered. You'll find some instructions on how to do just that in the description. Of course, if you have any questions, you can always contact our 24 seven support team on chat and let us help you with the setup. Reply address. I also wanna quickly mention the reply address, which is the name and email address that customers will actually see when you reply to their tickets. Now you can add it directly in help desk. Let me quickly show you. So what we have to do is go from our live chat app to our help desk app. And to switch products, we just go at the top here and we click on help desk. It's as easy as that. So in help desk, we wanna find settings. We wanna make sure that we're in channels and that we're in email. Now let's go to the reply addresses tab. And a reply address is the name that your customers will see when they communicate with you. Let's go ahead and click on add reply address. So here at the top, we have a display name, which is what the recipients see as the sender's name in their inbox, not just the email address. Now we definitely want to personalize it so it's clear who the message is from. Now I'm gonna go with Kaya's online store. Then the reply address. So here we have the possibility of changing it to a new domain if we do add one. Right, then we have teams using this reply address to communicate. So here we can select a group who will use this reply address. Let's click on general and then I click on add. And that's it. Now we have a new reply address added. Apart from that, when you set up forwarding to help desk, you'll be able to send and receive messages from customers in help desk using a dedicated email address provided by us. However, if you'd like to use a custom domain and enable sending messages from your own address, then we need to verify domain ownership and add certain DNS records to your domain to allow us to use the address in your replies. Now, I'm guessing your developers will be able to help you out with this. By the way, setting up your own domain in Help Desk is safe and in no way interferes with your current email setup. Now, Help Desk itself has some great automation features that I definitely recommend you go and check out. There's so much more to this powerful ticketing software and we won't be able to talk about all of it today but you're more than ready to start benefiting from the live chat times help desk integration. So what are you waiting for? Go start importing your data and setting up your ticket form and email forwarding to help desk. Now, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or go to livechat.com and start a chat with us. Thank you for watching and see you soon. <laughs>